Just less than two months ago, Washington was described as the NFL team that put the fun in dysfunctional. After their win today against the New York Giants, Washington is definitely having fun and now doing so as division leaders in the NFC East. Washington defeating the New York Giants 20 to 14 here at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Yes, the record is somewhat unsightly at five and six, but in the NFC East, it's good enough for first place as they now own the tiebreaker over the New York Giants due to a better division record. Kirk Cousins, the quarterback of Washington, had a pretty good game. 20 of 29, 302 yards. He had a touchdown pass that coming in the second quarter, a 63-yard touchdown pass from Cousins to Deshaun Jackson to give Washington a 10-0 lead. Kirk Cousins is starting to turn the corner in terms of being a decent quarterback in the National Football League. But the story of this game was really the Washington defense. They stifled and stymied the vaunted New York Giants passing game. They shut out the Giants for the first 45 minutes of this contest. They picked off Eli Manning three times in the contest as well. Eli Manning did throw a couple of touchdown passes in the fourth quarter to cut a 20 point deficit into a six point deficit from 20 to nothing to 20 to 14. One of those touchdown passes, an acrobatic diving catch by Odell Beckham Jr. down the left sideline to cut Washington's lead to 20-14, to 14, but on the ensuing drive, Washington able to burn clock, convert a couple of key third downs, and when they punted the ball away and back to the New York Giants, there were only less than 30 seconds remaining and the Giants not able to mount a last second drive and come back. And after the game, we got a chance to talk with Matt Jones, the running back for Washington. And I asked him to begin our conversation done for a lot of sports talk that first place in the NFC East must sound pretty good, right? I feel great, man. I mean, beating those guys, we definitely knew we wanted to beat them. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we didn't like them. So, I mean, it was definitely good, good for us and good for this team. Why didn't you like them? Uh, it's a rivalry game, man. We don't like the Giants. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what you get indoctrinated with the second you uh, wear that Washington jersey. Don't like the Giants. Don't like the Cowboys. Right, right. Don't like Philly. Right. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, such an important game. Uh, what was the difference in that second quarter offensively when you guys were able to get into a groove and score those 10 points in the second quarter after a scoreless first? Uh, we just stayed consistent, man. We just knew we were going to uh, run the ball on those guys. And uh, Watching film from the first game, we knew what uh, we did wrong. So, man, we came at these guys. We stayed consistent to the run. Uh, we ran the ball very good and we just stayed consistent. What was the biggest difference between the game on that Thursday night at MetLife Stadium and today? Uh, we just we just found out that uh, it was a Thursday night game. You know, we uh, had to rebound, you know, out for Sunday night game. But and we had corrected our errors from that, man. We just had a bad jump on that. They got it jumped on us early and uh, they won the game. But, you know, we we came back this week. You know, we studied these guys from the first game. So, I mean, now we came out with a, uh, a win. And that screen pass that you caught and was able to bust it for 45 yards, that was part of, I guess, the run game strategy to right. get the screen pass going to you. Chris Thompson as well with a right. big catch. Yeah, man, definitely part of that, man. When you um, run the ball downhill, they, always keep, they keep expecting you run, it, run the ball downhill. So I just slipped out on the screen, man, and hit him for 45. So, I mean, it was, it was great for our offense to get downfield and a great drive. You know, we scored on that, so it was good. And then on the sideline, seeing the defense pick off Eli Manning a couple of times in the first half in the end zone uh, in the uh, second half as well. That's to give you guys a lot of confidence in that first half and the second half. It was good, man, seeing a great quarterback like that. You know what I'm saying? We can hold him to a minimum, you know. Um, and uh, Quentin Dunbar, one of my, my favorite friends, you know, I grew up with him, and he got a pick on that. I was happy for him, man, to see him get a pick on Eli Manning. So, man, which was good, man. So I'm happy for that defense. <laughs> yeah, Quentin, the former wide receiver. Uh, what was your reaction on the sideline when you saw Quentin with the ball in the end zone oh, interception? Man. Oh, man, I'm in the air, man. Smiling for joy for him, man. I couldn't wait till he comes to the sideline and tell him I love him, man, and, and keep on grinding. Uh, being in college at the University of Florida, you're used to playing 12 games, maybe a bowl game. I know you had some uh, injury concerns when you were in college. Now this is uh, game 11, and now you're going into game 12, and there'll be 13 and 14 and 15 and 16. How do you keep that uh, body in shape through this grind in the first season of the National Football League? Ah, uh, man, just keep learning from the vets, see how they take care of their body, man. Like I was saying, I've been, I've been hitting the ice tub every day, you know what I'm saying, going to get massages and stuff like that. So, I mean, just staying consistent with helping my body out, man, not not doing uh, walking around a lot, you know what I'm saying, keep my, staying off my feet, you know, and uh, keeping my body healthy in the weight room. So, 
I mean, that, that's something I learned from the vets. How much, when you're on the sidelines, are you watching the defense and hoping for a big play compared to watching Odell Beckham Jr. and see what he does next? <laughs> I'm watching defense all the time, man, but uh, that guy's a sight and got to watch, man. He's a playmaker, you know, and uh, everybody respect him, man, because he's a playmaker, but uh, he definitely a sight to, to sight their team. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I asked you this off air, how confident are you that your Florida Gators will beat Alabama in the Georgia Dome for the SEC Championship? Uh, I'm about, I'm about an 8 right now. I could go, it's it's, it's going to go up by, by game time, man, but I'm um, definitely after the first place. Might go to 10, but I'm at 8 right now, though. <laughs> Matt Jones of Washington, thank you so very much for joining us. All right, thank you. As for the New York Giants, they have heard the talk about them being the best team in the NFC East, having the best quarterback in the NFC East, and this division being theirs for the taking. Right now, they're not in position to take the division. They're officially in second place in the NFC East, and their maddening roller coaster of a season continues. Eli Manning, as I said, three interceptions in the ball game. He did throw a couple of touchdowns. Odell Beckham Jr., nine catches, 141 yards. Another YouTube-worthy highlight reel catch for a touchdown, but not enough. The Giants down to five and six on the season. They go back home, and they take on their co-tenants at Met Life Stadium, the New York Jets, the New York Jets at six and five after their win against the Miami Dolphins. For Washington, first place NFC East. They're back here at FedEx Field for a Monday night game next week against the Tony Romo less Dallas Cowboys. Romo once again breaking his collarbone in the Thanksgiving Day loss to Carolina. He is officially out for the season. The Cowboys and the Eagles gifted. Washington and the New York Giants a great chance to take the division lead and it was Washington that took advantage here tonight a 20 to 14 win over the New York Giants from FedEx Field in Landover Maryland my name is Adashina Koike the news hub